Well, two years ago, a company based in Maine took a big vertical step towards space flight. Blue Shift's aerospace rocket didn't clear the Kármán line, the invisible point 60 miles up that marks the edge of space, but it did prove that their so-called biofuel could provide enough power for flight. In the years since that launch, which was in Limestone, the former Loring Air Force Base, the company has been working on its next step, trying to reach their goal of launching satellites into orbit with a carbon neutral fuel. The next step to that journey, by the way, happens today. Blue Shift will be conducting another test in Brunswick this afternoon. It's not a launch, but it is meant to test some powerful forces. Our David Guildford is at the test site and joins us live now with more very exciting. Hi, David. Hello, happy brisk but dry afternoon here in Brunswick. We're at the tarmac here uh, at the Brunswick Airport on the formal Naval Air Base. And we're set to watch a loud, I'm just trying to think of the, the steps that are going to go into this today. We're set to watch a loud 10 second engine burn this afternoon. Just 10 seconds, but it's going to be violent. We're going to be able to hear it from about 500 yards away from where this engine is going to be fired up just in under an hour. Now that uh, carbon neutral fuel you mentioned, that biofuel, that's the ticket here. That's why we're out here. Uh, the folks at Blue Shift designed this engine specifically to be powered by fuel so clean that the CEO tells us you could drink it if you wanted to, though he said it probably wouldn't taste that good. Now they first tested it in March of 2022, after which Blue Shift CEO Sasha Derry said his heart was pounding a thousand beats per second. He explained how excited he and his team are this afternoon and we met uh, a couple of them. Some of the folks who work here, they're from Maine. They went to UMaine. They're engineers here uh, who are working on this project. And Derry said today that there's about more than a 50% chance of a good burn, but he said it with a smile. I think he's a little more confident than that. Now, guys, we are uh, next to Blue Shift headquarters here on the old base. You can see the tarmac over my shoulder. We're actually going to transition a bit down the runway at five. We'll rejoin you at five to to, to touch base again. They have a, a trailer set up there, an old camper. That's kind of their uh, their HQ with a bunch of monitors on a live stream that will also show you. And then way down the tarmac is where they actually have this engine um, in a bunch of concrete to keep everyone safe. But again, it's just 10 seconds. This is today's step. If this is successful, uh, this summer, they hope to have a 60 second burn and that Sasha Derry told us will determine if this thing can go to space sooner rather than later. He expects to be able to take that next step within the year. Amanda, Brian. All right, David Guilford live for us in Brunswick tonight. Big steps tonight. Thanks so much.